car from buying a whole bunch of pizzas. I think what we're gonna do tonight, Adam and I are going to do a frozen pizza taste test. Wow, we talked to you guys about baby names we love but won't be using. I woke up a couple hours earlier than usual because I had to run a report for work that was taking forever. Then I drank some caffeine and all it did was keep me awake. It didn't give me any energy. So I do not feel like cooking. It's Friday, it's usually pizza night. That's what we're gonna do. I'm craving something to drink that's not water. And the only other things I drink besides water are coffee, which gives me heartburn if I drink more than one in the morning, and then kombucha, which I can't drink because one, pregnant, two, heartburn. So I just picked up some coconut water. Hopefully that'll do the trick. I will be back with Adam with baby names we love and won't be using and a pizza party because why not? Love you guys, see you in a minute. night at our house so we decided while we're eating we're doing a kind of like i don't want to say a taste test but we're doing three different vegan pizzas tonight friday night we started a tradition a lot of friday nights not every friday night yeah not every but it's pizza night in our house <clears throat> carry mixed from crust, scratch right? crust yeah we're not there yet tonight we cheated i was not feeling well today we bought frozen pizzas but this one's dia the dia vegetable and what do you think it's a vegan cheese i mean we've had this one before yeah it's usually it's it's good yeah so put it this way i was impressed i was surprised that uh it's definitely a lot better than what i was expecting people ask us to talk about baby names we like but won't be using so the list mm. but i think we should start with your two favorite names girl and boy remember that story by the face would you stop it what we settled this a long time ago they don't know <laughs> they do know they've heard this before mm -hmm. I don't think so. The, but I settled it. I wanted two very strong, confident, you know, children's names that, who would grow up to be strong, confident adults. Mm -hmm. yeah, better than Greek mythology, right? Achilles and Athena. Beautiful names. Not for a little. Both beginning with A. So, you know. But that was I vetoed it. Yeah, she did. However, equally as not our favorite, I was joking in the beginning that potentially the baby could have been conceived in Santa Monica. And we thought it was a girl in the beginning, so I kept joking we would name her Monica. But then when we found out it was a boy, my best friend's daughter was like, Well, they need to duh, they need to name him Santa. Santa Claus. Mm. <laughs> That I was like, oh, Santa Monica. We never even thought it would be a boy. But those names are out too. We're not having a Santa Claus. No? Out? No. Well, before we found out the gender, which we're having a boy for anybody that's new here. Lots of red pepper. <clears throat> oh, I'm so jealous. I can't have anything. My heartburn is so bad. I probably shouldn't even be eating this red sauce, but we're okay. You need salt? Sure. Oh, I thought it was just me. Thank God you want it too. Nothing is salty enough for me nowadays. So we're gonna go through girl names too, but obviously we're not using them because we're not having a girl. But I still think it would be fun. I like Charlotte. Well, I mean, for for the next one. That you're carrying. What do you think about the name Charlotte? Charlotte. No. Sienna. Sienna would like, right? That was in the running. It was. Yeah. Um, Stella. Commercial break. Mm, no. no. That was like at the bottom of my list. I'm with you. It's one of those names that you can't call a child Stella. She got a blue back too. It's like an, it's, it's like an Ooh, older like... woman's name. It's a name like you would, Roseanne? You would have to like grow into. Like yeah. Roseanne? Yeah, Roseanne too. Uh huh. If we had a girl, not that I would want a name of Roseanne, but just like. Not quite the uh, little girl's name. This one looks delicious. This one is Amy's Pizza. It has no cheese and it came with what? It came with red onions and a little bit of- Yeah, the majority of this, which you see on top, we did that. We did that. So it came with red onions and artichokes, no cheese, because obviously we want a vegan. And she had a vegan cheese one, but this one is delicious. We had it last time. So I added hearts of palm. Adam doesn't really love them, but since it had artichokes, we decided to throw them on there. Kalamata olives, which you love. 
And then Adam diced up, you're a good dicer, diced up some yellow peppers that we had in the fridge. Did we add anything else? That's all we added, right? I think that's it. Oh, and it had some mushrooms that came with it too. So Christina, after my sister, I love, I think her name is beautiful. She loves her name too. Mm -hmm. Delilah. That would kind of be after my mom, but her, her name was Delia. Confession here. I like Delilah. You do? However, um, there was a Delilah's Den <laughs> in my past, so. I know Delilah's Den. We have to veto that. Does anybody else let us know in the comments? Should we, we even, we're not going to go there. Can I say, oh, I have water for that. Yeah. I don't want your germs. Wait, did you go to the one on 35 all the way up? Or you went, there was another one. There's another one. Oh, interesting. Okay. There's another one. In, yeah. We, Got on. it. <laughs> Moving on. It's a cute name. I wouldn't want it for my daughter, but it's really trendy right now. The only reason I put it on the list is because it's very similar to my mom's name. It would be like to honor her. Sure. Grace. Hmm. I feel like if we go down the path with Grace, then we're getting into like hope. Mm. You know, if we're going to go um, with those attributes. Didn't your mom recommend hope? She did. I think hope's good. And I think hope solo, mm. aside from, you know, the brief domestic dispute, domestic violence, her and her husband. I don't remember that. Aside from that aspect, I think she's she very She was the one woman. that was violent or she was abused? Um, as far as I can recall, she was the abuser, the oh, attacker. Wow. Oh, wow. So, but she's a strong woman, not condoning that by any means, but for her athletic accomplishments and just all those women from that Olympic team and yeah, just. This is something I love so much about him is that he puts so much thought into and meaning into things. I love that about you. Thank you. You have to, right? You wouldn't be you if you didn't. That's just, yeah. I love the name Grace, but also Annie and Sean have Grace. Like you, I, this is what happens mm -hmm. when you're naming a baby. You're like, well, I can't do it because this friend has this, this friend has that. I don't want to copy this one. My niece is this, or it's too close to this. Well, I was going to say, I don't think it's about copying it. I think it gets like, you just, I, I just want to respect We're going to be hanging people. out and, and it's going yeah. to be like, Grace, no, and no. It's like in my family, Grace, Anthony, yeah. and like 20 people turn around. How about Lucy? I don't know. I'm like kind of indifferent on that name. I mean, it's so cute for a little girl, but I'm with you. Like, it's not a winner for us. Yeah. Lucy Clausen. Like, yeah, it doesn't. Ooh, you throw it with that and it doesn't. Yeah, you have to consider that. Yeah. I didn't even make it that far. Oh, I put too much red pepper. How in about, there. are you suffering? You want this one? How about Mila or Mila? Where does that come from? It came from Name Your Baby app. It just reminds me of Milo Vento, Vento, Vento How do you say his name? He's Jack on. Sure. Yeah, I don't know. I don't. I think it's beautiful. Not for us. I don't have a connection to it. Yeah. Okay, this is three for the price one. Gabriella, Briella, or Gabrielle. And we'd call her Gabby. I like them all. Mm hmm. I know, that was on the list of the video. Yeah, I like all those. Priscilla, you think about this? I mean, we do live in Vegas. Mm -hmm. What about Francesca? Oh, go ahead. I was gonna say, not only like the Elvis connection, I don't know, like it just, it doesn't sound like a strong name to me. Yeah, I, I get that, I hear what you're saying. I think it's a beautiful like name. Priscilla, like kind of prissy. Oh, I don't get that. I don't get that from that, but I just don't. Priscilla Clausen is like marbles in your mouth. It's a yeah. lot of syllables. It's just not right for our baby. How about Elia? Elia? Elia, E-L-I-A. I'll tell you where I got it from. It's my mom's name without the D. Oh, oh that's interesting. I like the connection. I like the connection. I don't, I mean, I loved the little girl's name that we had picked out. That was one of the reasons I was disappointed. <laughs> we weren't having a girl because I love that. I think that name is so gorgeous, which when we have our girl, we'll tell you guys. But so this one was like, once we got that name, like this one just didn't seem. Did anybody else catch what she just said? I didn't say oh, who's carrying. I didn't say who's carrying it. I didn't say if it's biological. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't matter. Okay, the boys list is much shorter because boys' names are so much more difficult. I think Jack. I don't know. There's something about Jack. It's interesting. I've never. 
My dad is Jack. Obviously, I don't call him Jack. Right. So I never really thought about it like that, Jack Clawson. My dad's initials are J-A-C, Jack Allen Clawson. That's so cool. Jack, yeah. I like that play too. That's, mm -hmm. that's cool. That is cool. Yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't cut that one out. I think it's a good name. Obviously, it's not the winner, <laughs> but it's a good name. Yeah. Noah. I think Noah is a good name. Unfortunately, I have a, a connection to mm. someone in particular that I don't, I wouldn't want mm -hmm. our child to have that name just because of that. It happens. Um, I think Noah's an adorable name. It's very, very trendy right now. But again, I don't think it's strong enough to go with your last name. Well, it seems to be our last name. Noah Clausen, like something gets lost there. I think it fits though, Noah Clausen. I think it fits, but I like what, the name that we have better. Yeah. It fits really well. It does. Dominic. Want to do this? Dominic is very... Italian? Yes. Well, that's my, it's a family name. Yeah, of course, I know. That's my favorite cousin. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Dominic Clausen might be too many C's in a row, too. And I, I just think everything I'm like. I don't know how such a obviously Italian first name goes with. Right. Like um, Francesca. I love the name Francesca. It wouldn't work with Clausen. It doesn't make sense. Chase. Hmm. I like that. I think it works. That's why it's on the list. You loved that name. I did. I loved it. That name? Yeah. See, you got good taste because you still like it. <laughs> see, here's some insight, and we were talking about this earlier, kind of how my mind works. Once I have like put something aside, mm -hmm. like we made a decision on. We're not saying it. I'll cut it out. They don't know. Mm -mm. Oh. Okay. So once we made a decision, and this is, you know, not only with the name, I do this with anything that I'm that I'm giving a, a great deal of thought to. Once it's done, once the decision is made, like, I just kind of... There's kind of, no going back ever? It's, it's not no going back. It's just I've learned to, like, kind of compartmentalize because I put so much thought into to making a decision that I need to, like, let that go. Like, it takes up so much space, so much energy, so much thought. So I just... Burp, yeah. Erase, move on. Yeah. I mean, I, I respect that, and I can appreciate that because you do... That just proves how much thought you put into things. Mm -hmm. About Adam, a lot of people are asking about that. Mm -hmm. I know you don't like your name. Because my sister-in-law not... said Adam Jr. and call him AJ. So and I was like, Adam hates his name. I kind of like the AJ, mm -hmm. but I mean like, then you're you're bringing Adam along in him. What do you mean you're bringing Adam along in him? You're in him. That's what I'm saying, like you're, you're, you're going with the name Adam anyways. Is it more that you think that you're instilling too much of you in him, like, he needs his own independence and identity. Mm, that's interesting. I've never loved my name. Yeah. Like, as a kid, I, I disliked my name. Yeah. I've learned to, like, I've embraced my whole name, Adam Bentley Clausen. Yeah. Like, it's my email, it's everything. You know what I mean? I put it all together. So I've embraced that and I've gotten more comfortable. I'm comfortable with my name at this point. I don't know. I, I think some people like get excited to be able to pass on their name. Yeah. And it's just, never that's, been that's never been a priority for me, so. Yeah. I would never want to name my child my name. My own mother doesn't like my name. I've talked about that in videos before too, yeah. where I got my name, but it was a family name. I'll post the video up there. How about Joseph? Joseph Clausen. Joseph Self, okay. It's okay too. If every one of my sisters after Anthony, my mom has three more girls because she was trying to have another boy to give my brother a brother. They would have all been Joseph, but they were all girls. Wow, that's pretty good. Right? <laughs> you know what's- Missing cheese? No, I'm saying what really did it though was what we put, what on, we put on there. But the dough is, it really, I like a doughy pizza. It's doughy, it's good. It's very doughy. Um, it is missing, I feel like it's Jersey missing something pizza. and not cheese. Well, I'm through my list. You want to add, throw some more names out? You got any more? Oh man, this is done. Way too dumb? Yes. I think Amy's is the winner. Mm. That's a good looking pizza right there. It is. It looks good. So this is, is this the one? Sonoma? Mm -hmm. Or was that the first one? Nope, that's this one. That's this one, okay. You wanna show the box? Sonoma, plant-based 
sausage and peppers. It's gluten free. Mm. I feel like this is going to be the winner. Do you? The middle one? It's got my vote so far. Yeah, so far it's it's definitely much better than the other one. Mm -hmm. But again, that's because of really what we put on it. I agree, but I also like the dough. Okay. Adam made this one. Again, it looks pretty. Yeah. With the peppers. But it came with we definitely dressed it up. A little bit of sausage and peppers. Vegan sausage and peppers. Yeah. I like caught like a, a hint of peppers or But not uh, our peppers, right? No, not peppers, the uh I mean sausage. Like a spiciness to it, right? Mm-hmm. Not that too. Hmm. No, I definitely I definitely smell it. So anything else you want to say about baby names? Oh, it's gonna be like a cracker. This is gonna be like the exact opposite of this fluffy jelly one. Oh yeah, this is crispy. Might have been the chef's fault. So there's cheese on this. But it's vegan, right? I don't know. Uh -oh. It said plant-based. Let's just make sure. Plant-based sausage and peppers. Yep. Plant-based Italian sausage crumbles, tri-colored peppers, tomato sauce, and aged smoked provolone on a crust made with broccoli and cheddar. So the crust is actually... Well, you still gotta try a piece. I'll try a bite, but I can't too much my stomach's gonna not be happy with me. Plant-based should be... No, it should it's... Be, it should be one. It should be no cheese, plant-based, but I'm not seeing... No, it's plant-based meat. Yeah, I got cheese. tricked by um, food. Always read the labels. I mean, I thought it's I don't know, that's pretty good. Mmm. Right? It's the smokiness. And the sausage. Mmm. That's coming from somebody that likes meat. True. So if anybody wants to do like uh, meatless Mondays or something like that, this could be a good option. Or join us on pizza night and you don't eat meat or cheese or gluten or you just want regular pizza and join us on pizza night mm, that's really good that smoked flavor is delicious right mm. i think i have to take another bite all right all right i think we're done right it's 30 minutes we love you guys see you in the next one i couldn't find the thing <laughs>